Getting up and running with Rune is easy. Today I'm gonna to walk you through installing and running Rune for the first time. I've just downloaded and installed Rune here on my laptop. I'm gonna walk you through the first few steps. The Rune core is the brains of a Rune system. You can run it on a device like a Nucleus or a device you build yourself. Or in this case, since we're starting on a laptop, we're gonna run it all in one on this laptop. I'm just gonna set up the Rune core on this Mac. I'll enter my, the email address I used to sign up. Now the first thing Rune's going to look for is any music files that I have. Um, those could be CD rips or high res downloads. Uh, in my case, I have a folder full of files on this laptop that are all the music that I've collected over the years. I'm gonna show you how to add that folder. I can go to the file browser here. In my case, it's in a music directory and a folder that I've called Rune. In here, you'll find all my CD rips. So I'll select that folder. Now Rune knows where to find my files. I could also have those files on an external USB hard drive. I could have them on a NAS somewhere connected on my network. In my case, I'm just gonna use what I have on my laptop here. It's important to note that Rune will never touch your files, no matter where they live. Um, it will scan them and look at their tags to identify them, but it will never make any changes to any of your files. Now, to get the most out of Rune, it's really a good idea to connect one or, one or more streaming services. So I'm gonna sign into both Tidal and Kobos today. I've already got a Tidal account. And now Rune is going to ask me to configure my audio outputs. Basically what it's done is it's looked on my laptop and seen what hardware is connected to my laptop. It's also looked on the network to see what other devices are in my home. So in this case, I'm going to enable the audio output on my laptop so I can use headphones or the speakers on board. But I also see some Rune Ready devices here on my network. I'm gonna enable all of those. Now, as you can see, my artists, albums, and tracks are ticking up. What's happening is that Rune is scanning all those files on, on the laptop here, as well as my favorites from Tidal, and it's indexing them, building up my library. You can see the progress here. So now you can see in about a minute, Rune has imported all my music, and I'm already getting recommendations based on the contents of my music library. Now that we have Rune running on the laptop, the next step is to install the Rune Remote app on my mobile devices. Rune Remote's available for iPhone, iPad, Android phone, and tablet. When I launch the Rune Remote app, I'm gonna be prompted to connect to my Rune Core. In this case, it's my MacBook Pro. And that's all the setup there is to do. And as you can see, what we see on the desktop is exactly what we see on Rune Remote. Everything that's available in the user interface on the computer is also available on Room Remote. With those few simple steps, you're ready to start listening. If you'd like to learn more, please check out our other videos or head to our website at runelabs.com.